Okay, people. I've uh, <laughs> just looking at this thing that uh, just finished streaming about 40 minutes ago as of uh, me making this. And uh, yeah, you know who I'm going to talk about. I'm seeing things in the side chat, you know. $8,000. You don't want to sell yourself short selling it for $8,000? Oh, hell no. No, it's a collectible. No, it's not a collectible. One of a kind, blah, blah, blah. Remember about a year or two back, probably two years back now, Tony Mullins showed something the same as El Bus's rig, but it was actually the slightly larger type with the V8 in it. It had near new everything's, near new fridge in it, a lot of fairly new stuff, and the price was $5,000 US. Yeah. Yeah, they are talking. Oh, oh, oh $8,000. <laughs> Get real. This one, the $5,000 one Tony showed, it had bloody everything you could get in it. And uh, for 5000 US over here, I can buy a Hyundai van that's about five years old. And here they are, you know, 1987, $8,000. I'll get real. But, you know, of course, uh, you know, the man and uh, his uh, Fruit Loop followers believe a lot of things, you know, usually pertaining that they're the best when they're actually the most ridiculous. But anyway, let's have a listen. I think it's better and smarter if I just keep my rig and maintain it because it's a one-of-a-kind rig. Yeah, I got that right. Shit. And, you know, you can live in a rig without a shower, but you do need a toilet system. But, you know, you can always go with a portable toilet, so it's not a big deal. I can get a portable toilet and just, you know, and put it underneath the bed. Uh, have a spot for it underneath the bed, I guess, or just have a, uh, like a little bucket and stuff, you know, it's a homemade thing, a homemade toilet with a bucket. It's not a big deal. <laughs> have a homemade bucket, a homemade toilet with a bucket and stuff. It's not a big deal. No, no, of course not. No, no that's, that's not a big deal. Hell, you've just included a toilet in your rig. I mean, it's only a fucking one dollar Walmart bucket, you know, with a with a fucking bit of I don't know pizza box lid over the top of the fucking thing. But you know what? That's such an asset. Just that adds on another five hundred bucks. Oh hell, might add on another eight hundred bucks right there. Freaking hell. <laughs> deal, really. People try to make it a big deal, like you have to have an RV toilet. And who wants to have a black tank that you got to go empty out at and find a dump station? That's yeah. What is better to do is have a shit in the bushes behind Walmart and you didn't need to fucking have a toilet and you didn't need to actually empty your black tank either. In fact, his camera is facing a bunch of bushes right now. Perfect spot. It's going frickin' squat down behind the bush. I mean, that's what the Assyrians did back in the day when they worked in the fields, didn't they? A thousand years ago or whatever. That's not fun to do that in the city and stuff. I don't know. Oh, come on, you're doing it already. Where do you find dump tanks at? And they charge you for that. So really, to me... Over here in Australia, they don't charge you for it, and they're provided by the government. Me, having just a homemade bucket system where you just make it out of a bucket and a toilet seat this is more simple and stuff you know than having an RV toilet and stuff yeah or I mean 
what's the point of even going to the effort of a one dollar bucket that you know as soon as you sit on you're going to crack it like a bloody RV going over an empty coke can and uh, waste your money on a five dollar toilet seat stuff that and you're at six dollars there that that's one fifth of a shawarma sandwich no actually hang on I've got that wrong no that that's more than one shawarma sandwich that you're out right there. You're a dollar over the cost of a shawarma sandwich. Better still, go back to the old tack of having a whole heap of Walmart bags and shitting in them. In actual fact, before too long, and it might be like another week away, most of this country is cutting out plastic bags. Certain states already have my state years, and I think it's just soon going to be countrywide. Because who wants to buy the chemicals? Who wants to worry about water leaks? Who wants to worry about where to find a dump site and you got to pay? Okay. See it. Chopping out. You know, you're supposed to put the clear elbow on there. So to me, I'm not saying I'm against an RV toilet. I'm just saying it's not a deal breaker for me, really. Because there's always, always fucking Walmart bags. And I don't think America's going to ban, ban plastic bags as uh, quickly as Australia's trying to because uh, America is the home of the throwaway everything.